he, he, play. It's like he just wanted the accomplishment of being the yeah, one who actually yeah, got the kill. Yeah, of course. Exactly. Yeah. He's like, if I take nothing from this game, I will <laughs> Yeah, at least, yeah, take your life once. Yeah, exactly. Now he only has one life before he breaks his KDA record. So. so, anyway, I'm just saying it's like, while I think Cloud9 is good, it is very difficult to for me to evaluate how good they would be on an international stage, because no one has even really challenge them at all at any point in time right in none of their games does it feel like they were ever losing i think gsm is going to challenge them if they still play them like gsm is... they haven't played each other yeah, they haven't yet. played yet yeah gsm is the only team where i'm like it's the next game this. actually apparently it is next yeah. week yeah i can see this actually being uh like a real fight because gsm is the only other team that is both mechanically good enough to challenge c9 but they also have now started to find their own style within the meta and they're a lot more aggressive than they used to be so it's like c9 will just flat out counter tsm again which used to be Ooh, the thing in the uh, past where is having if they fun. get steamrolled by team fighting i think tsm now is good enough at think team fighting too dead. and they're actually playing i think he should die enough, here so as long as i aim properly matter, i'm looking for i think that's what kind of show how good they actually are because all the tsm I didn't even get to land all my rockets. Like, oh, and there's bears, the scream in the background. Top bears in the too. All right. Well, this is not going to be the highest quality game I've ever recorded, but you know what? Deal with it. Former clanmate with some RF guys. Looks like we're going to be strong C, so I'm going to move my hull. Oh, someone gives me a radar. Thank you. Only have two planes, sadly, but 32 rockets should be sufficient to score some hits. Or, not 32, sorry. 28. Make sure the Stalingrad doesn't get bullied. He's providing me information at the moment. Let me see if I can check for him if the Iden slowed down sufficiently. The answer is yes, he's in his smoke. So I'm gonna hunt that Shimakaze. That smoke's probably been up for a little bit. The fact that I'm completely undetected tells me that this Shimakaze is still in smoke. Now spotted by the minnow briefly, now aircraft. Just gonna hover over my very damaged Shimakaze. Should be on the run, the cap is ticking. Perhaps I just missed him and he left a while back. Or he's in this bubble. In which case, let's see if we can find him. I'm gonna skirt into the AA bubble. Dive back out. Dive in again. Oh, a bit too much. Whoops. Preserve these, gliding back to my allies, so hopefully their AA will take out the fighter. There we go. Completely unspotted. He's probably behind this rock. Currently not doing too much, but with some div mates, should be fine. Gonna at least intervene and interrupt that spike there. Still hunting the Shimakaze. Where are you? My fighter should intervene and intercept that. Hmm. Couldn't find him. Oh, okay, the smoke tells me exactly where he is. There's a Megami here that- oh, is AFK. My bad. Well, I thought he was here, but I guess I'll get some free fire damage. The Z-52 in front of my Stalingrad. Let's see if I can get some torpedoes onto him. I am running the new module, so I have two extra knots of speed. 
Alright, never mind that. Move my hull back toward the battlefield. Don't know if I can help this Stalin here, although he should shatter a fair number of the bombs. I'm just gonna keep the bombers from circling back. Note that this is not perfectly on him and he's likely to fly out of them, but as long as he turns in this way, the fighter might intervene. I say might though, because, well, this is actually a very, very might. Alright, my fighter did absolutely jack shit, and he died. That is unfortunate. Alright, well, I've wasted enough time now. I'm gonna help them with this repub, who has been on the run for a bit. Up my heal now at this point. Is a fire. Broken rudder and a flood forces Damcon. I would like to kind of delay the strike if possible, but I really can't because I'm down to the last three. So the point of attempting to delay that strike is to try and uh, wait out the damage control, but in this case. Oh, I did wait out the damage control. Okay, so he has a flood. Uh, these destroyers in the center are on the way to the repub anyway, so I will drop him a fighter on the way in. Here's that Mimator and the flooding repub. I'll give the Shimakaze some protection. They're gonna advance across toward A, or C rather, sorry. Popping my cooling consumable in order to get boost. Because I'm trying to slingshot here, unfortunately the enemy audacious does drop a fighter. Imperfect drop angle. As you can see, that results in some pretty poor results. My Zhao off on his own, so obviously getting picked on. Meanwhile, their team is fairly tightly clustered, although we do have cap advantage. Don't want to get too close with my carrier. Oh, <laughs> goodbye, Sierra. Amagi looks like a good target. He's also thin skinned in terms of armor, so. I'll be able to deal with him soon. Or deal with him with the uh, level bombers after. Oh, he's kind of close to the carrier. Alright, so there's going to be one strike and then I'm going to have to leave this guy. This is why, even in the Zao, you don't want to chase the border. Miss on my first attempt. If he slows down, this will miss. Oh, he did slow down, so that's a big rip. I'm gonna chase after that Shimakaze, which is attacking mine. Eh, he smoked. Eh, he didn't smoke. We'll see. That smoke might force him to continue maneuvering, which might force him from the cap. Oh, unspotted, so he's either behind the smoke or in the smoke. Spotted, which means he's out of the smoke. He's turning in toward me, looks like. Just need to make sure I get a wide enough arc that I can arm these bombers. 
Raking pass for 3.5k, not bad. Pretty big hit, which allows the Zed to kill him. Since I'm here already, I'm gonna push off this Minotaur. gonna use this piece of cover to block out his long range AA. And when I'm close enough I will leisurely arm my squadron. He's probably gonna trim a plane before I can get these off. But because he's so thinly skinned, I can get a pretty good chunk into him. More importantly, I'm providing intelligence data for my Z-52, who I'm gonna need to help me win this match, because while well, our teammates are not exactly helping, let's just say. Pretty good clip. Not even gonna bother launching this. Okay, I at this point I need to run. Note that we're up points, but down, like, what, four ships? So, it's kind of on me to catch us up now. He's turning to match me. So I'm just gonna do the bow in torps first. Doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. Gonna kill this Mogami. Or consider killing this Mogami. Actually, I can kill him at my leisure. Should stay on to the Amagi here. Alright. He's moving at full speed this time. Gonna loop out in a way. It's the Shimakaze. Gonna see if I can get onto that Mogami. My target is the Amagi. I didn't quite kill him, the Mogami that is, so I'm gonna have to go back for it. Which is annoying. Definitely annoying. Not a perfect drop here. Better. Damage controls. In the case of a damage control versus an Amagi. Oh, uh, we're just gonna go back with bombs and try and get multiple fires. Oh, my carrier hole needs to stay moving. They're asking me to kill the Mogami, which is reasonable. Okay, I don't care about that. Got my double fire onto the Imagi. It's gonna be fairly risky here, and I cannot guarantee a hit, but... Okay, there we go, Jesus. Oh, 
Gonna try and kill that Amagi that I just double fired. My care is under attack, okay? I don't really care. He's turning in toward me, so he's gonna go for a nose torp short. And in case he dodges, although it doesn't look like he's going to, okay, he's dead. That should be enough to win the game. Well, thank goodness for that. Not my best showing, but it'll do. Bullied some tier 8s. 143,000 damage, 12 torpedo hits, 23 bomb hits, 1 plane kill, 6 incaps, 2 kills, 7 fires, 4 floods, 3 defender ribbons, 12 spotting ribbons, 57 target hits, and 10 kills by fighters. Sorry about the early audio things. Not my most professional commentary, but as you can see, the division players and me managed to claw this game back, although given we were against an AFK Mogami, not exactly our proudest moment. But yeah, that was alright, I guess, in terms of testing the Torpedo Bombers. I am uh, currently running the Torpedo Speed module, just testing this out. The Audacious doesn't really have a good take here anyway. You don't really need Torpedo Bomber attack time with the short British arm time, so... For the British carriers, at least, I think this is actually a fairly good upgrade, unlike my uh, experiments with the same module on my Japanese carriers. Anyhow, yeah, not the most professional, but uh, I think it's pretty good on Audacious, and I suspect this new module would be pretty good on Implacable and Furious. Didn't really notice any difference, but you don't take anything in that slot anyway, so it's a bit of a freebie for British carriers. Extra two knots of speed just to make it a little more comfortable to hit those torpedoes. With that said, I'll wrap this up right here, and I'll catch you all later.